Hey y'all, it's me, Shimon Persephone, um, doing a video for my second book of Hashtag My Year of Reading Women. And for the second book, I chose Wake Siren by Nina McLaughlin. Um, this book was awesome, y'all. Um, it is a collection of short stories, um, retellings of the myths in Ovid's Metamorphosis, particularly the myths surrounding women. Um, and as you can probably tell by my name that I choose to go by on YouTube and Instagram, I really love mythology, um, particularly classical Greek and Roman mythology. Um, I've studied it a lot. Of course, I've read Ovid's Metamorphosis, the Odyssey, all the old original ones. Um, so anytime someone comes out with a retelling or a um, collection of retellings, um, I jump on it. I, I just eat it up. I can't get enough. Um, this author, Nina McLaughlin, or McLaughlin, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, she has written one other book. It is a memoir about her life as a carpenter. I'm not really into carpentry, so I probably won't ever read it. But if she does ever come out with more fiction, I will eat it up because um, this this was so good. Her writing was phenomenal. Um, the stories, the way she twisted them um, were just right. And I was just really, really impressed with this book. Um, it is probably the most recent book, recently released book that I've read in a really long time. It was just released at the end of 2019. Normally, when I buy a book, it sits on my shelf for years before I ever get to read it because I buy a book and then I'm like, oh, wait, there's all these books that have been on my shelf for years that I haven't read. And I feel guilty about not reading those. And so I read one of those and then my new books sit there until they're not new anymore. Um, but this one I read almost right away because I was really excited about it. I had seen it. Um, on Instagram and on like Electric Literature and Book Riot and all those places um, before it came out. And I was like, this, this seems like a book that I'm really going to like. Um, I mean, just look at this cover. How gorgeous is that? That is a really beautiful cover. Like top 10, in my opinion, for sure. Um, But even so, like, even if it had a crappy cover, I still would have eaten it up. It was just gorgeous. Um, my favorite story was this one. The one about Procne and Philomela. If you're uh, familiar with your myth, with your Ovid, um, Procne and Philomela is the story where um, basically Procne and Philomela are sisters. Procne gets married and moves away, but then she misses her sister, so she wants her sister to come visit. Um, so her husband goes to pick up the sister, Philomela. On the way home, he rapes her and cuts out her tongue so that she can't tell anybody, and he just sort of leaves her. And when he gets home, he's like, oh, there is an accident with her sister. Sorry about it. Um, the way she tells it, the reaction of the girls um, to this horrendic, horrendous act was just gut-wrenching and heart-wrenching. And there's one line in particular that made me stop in my tracks. Um, I, I literally had to stop reading. I read that line several times and I just had to process it before I could move forward and continue reading. I'm not going to read that line because I feel like you have to read the whole story for it to really hit you like it hit me. Um, but if you have read it and you want to know which line it was, I'd be happy to tell you. DM me. Um, but yeah, all these stories were just really wonderful. I think it would help you appreciate these stories if you were familiar with the original stories from Ovid. Um, but I think you can still enjoy these even if you're not familiar with the mythology. 
because they really are just at their base level stories about women um, and stories about things maybe not that every woman has experienced, but that every woman fears. Um, if you're familiar with Greek mythology, you know there's a lot of rape. There's a lot of girls being turned into different things to avoid being raped. Um, in fact, the first story in here is about Daphne, who was turned into a tree to avoid being raped by Apollo. Um, and that's a lot of, it's, it's definitely a theme in Ovid and of course in this. Um, the one bummer about this book is that it was not released in hardcover. I think I would have really preferred to have a hardcover copy because I can see myself going back to this over and over, um, even just to read a couple of stories now and then, um, if not read the whole thing again sometime. Um, and I just like the way that hardcovers hold up a little bit better than the paperbacks, but um, I'm still really happy that I bought this the day it came out. I'm really happy that I went ahead and read it, even though it was a brand new book. Um, I think it fit in really well with my theme of my year of reading women. Um, and I think that really everyone can enjoy something that this book has to offer. Even if you're not a woman, even if you're a big burly straight guy, freaking read this book. It's so good. If you like stories, read the heck out of this. You won't regret it. Um, and as far as Nina goes, if Nina, Nina, if you're watching, write some more. Um, it doesn't have to be mythology retellings, but it would be awesome if it was. Um, I Like, I really can't wait until I can see more from this author because I think she's really a force to be reckoned with. But yeah, highly recommend this book. Go out to your local bookshop, pick up a copy. You won't regret it. And I will be back next time with another book to talk about. Bye.